What makes Pokemon unique? Generation 6 Finally, the most recent installment in the Pokemon franchise was released worldwide on October 12, 2013. Unsurprisingly, the games were wildly successful, and although they haven't held a cult love like in previous generations, it's a huge defining moment for the Pokemon franchise. It not only transitioned into the world of 3D, but brought fans and friends together again much like old times. With 72 new Pokemon added and a current total of 721, Gen 6 is loved for just how expansive the games have become. Not how big the games are virtually, but how much of an impact it's brought to fans of the series. What makes Pokemon X, Y, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire unique is how they show that Pokemon is a universal series that can manage to cater to any audience around the world. Many of the new additions in Generation 6 were small but very impactful, the biggest being the addition of the Fairy type, designed to be a strong counter to Dragon type. It led to many attacks and Pokemon having their stats slightly altered in order to be a bit more competitively viable as well. Mega Evolutions also gave some old favorites a bit more punch, and completely changed the competitive landscape. Other additions included Pokemon Ami, which is a fun way to see the new 3D models up close. Horde encounters make training and finding hidden abilities a lot easier than it was in the previous generation. Trainers could be customized in appearance for the first time in the series, and tools like the player search system made trading and battling on the go so much easier, thanks to the functionality of the 3DS. The overarching theme of these changes was to make Pokemon as accessible as possible. Now there were more ways to train. The experience share, a staple of the series, now worked in a way that made all party Pokemon grow evenly. Some argued it made the game easier, <clears throat> but luckily it can be turned off for players that want a challenge. The accessibility also connected Pokemon fans in a whole new way. Street Pass made conventions and other gatherings a great place to find like-minded trainers. The use of friend codes also led to activities like the Friends Safari to find Pokemon not available in the Kalos region. There was also the Pokemon Vavilon, which would look different depending on the region players were in. Suddenly, Pokemon became a world of its own. No matter if players were in the Americas, Asia, Europe, or anywhere on Earth, Pokemon was a game that everyone could understand. Players could leave their house and find other trainers on the bus or around the city. At this point, the game had become its own language and way of life. Throughout this video series, it's no surprise that every installment aimed to improve on what was laid before it, but nothing that was discussed is mutually exclusive to any specific generation. Even after 20 years, Pokemon has always been a tale of a child leaving home and finding their way through this new world on their quest to become champion. In the real world, Pokemon still proves it transcends the medium, with so many ways to play and bring new players together. Every generation grew bigger than the last in one way or another. The competitive scene still grows and changes with the new attack attacks, types, and Pokemon, the stories began to have scales of epic proportions. And all of this was wrapped up in Gen 6, which didn't just build on the five previous generations, but gave Pokemon fans a way to discuss and share their experiences on a global scale. Onlookers may have said that Pokemon was a fad at first, but time has proved that no matter the age, background, or upbringing, Pokemon's a series that brings people together, and is a universal language for all to enjoy. With a new generation coming out next week on November 18th, 2016, it just goes to show that even when it seems like the series couldn't grow any bigger, more changes are right around the corner. Longtime fans may just want to see the new Pokemon in region, others may want to test the competitive viability of the Pokemon, and some may just want to watch as the story unfolds. No matter the case, Pokemon is a series that offers so many different experiences to so many people, all the while bringing these people together into their own little world where they can make friends, share their adventures, and show that Pokemon is more than a game. That is what makes Pokemon unique. Hey there, if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos that discuss what makes any video game stand out, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you like the sound of my voice, you can check out my channel, Snowman Gaming. Lots of analytical content over there to check out. Thanks for watching.